Hey coin collectors, it's DC on the Big D Coin Channel, and we're looking at the 1966 Lincoln One Cent Coin from the United States. It says in God We Trust around the top, Liberty Behind Lincoln, 1966 right here, and you can see that there is no mint mark here on, he on this coin. But that doesn't help us with the 1966, because no mint mark could mean Philadelphia, it could mean Denver, or it could mean San Francisco. All of the Lincoln one cent coins from 1966 were struck between August and December of 1966 because they hadn't finished the 1965 coins, so they used the first seven months of 1966 to finish the coins from 1965. Why is that? Well, because in 1965 they continued to make the silver 1964 coins until they ran out of silver. And then they didn't have enough time to make all the copper nickel clad copper coins, so they continued to make those until 1966. In 1966, in August, they finally caught up with the year, and so in August 1966, they started making the coins that said the year 1966 on them. They rushed it. They did it in three different mints, but they put no mint marks on them. So it doesn't matter whether you had San Francisco, Philadelphia, or Denver, you're not going to see a mint mark in any of the coins. The only way you can tell a coin is just if you get it in a special mint set. Often the quality control, according to NGC, was so poor that you couldn't see some of the details on the coins. Some of the coins, however, did come out in cameos, and those ones probably came when they turned to new dyes to print them out. And so you, every once in a while you get one of these coins is just in fantastic shape. For 1966, they made 2.2 billion of these total. These are 95% copper, 5% zinc coins. The auction record for 1966 penny, $6,463. However, that was at a heritage auction in 2012. At a mint state 65, PCGS says this coin is worth $20. At a mint state 67 plus, the coin is worth $8,500. So you can get a really good one. It's just really hard to get a really good one, and we don't have any of them here. If you're looking for a regular minted coin, it can come in a brown, a red brown, or a red aspect. If you're looking for a special mint set coin, they have some brown, red, brown, red, they have some cameo, and they have some deep or ultra cameo. The Ultra Cameo is not the highest priced coin for the 1966 Special Strike, however. That is a 68 at the Cameo level, which is worth $2,500. At a Special Strike 65, you're still going to get $175 if you can get a Cameo version of it. However, they are few and they are far between. Let's tip it up on its edge. We see that it's still the old bronze coin, mostly copper from the United States. And then on the back, we see that it's the Lincoln Memorial Cent. United States of America at the top, E Pluribus Unum up here. There's Lincoln way down inside, and then one cent here at the bottom. Way over here on the side, we see an F and a G, and you can barely see it. And that's really significant on these special mint set coins, because some of the dies were so used that you couldn't see the initials sometimes. Now you see this one, it, it has spots all over it, has a dark kind of almost like a burn mark there, and this is a penny from a broken out special mint set. And how would you know it was a San Francisco coin? Because this one here came from the special mint set. The special mint sets from 1966 came in this cardboard casing. In 1965, the special mint sets had come in a envelope, much like some of the U.S. mint sets were put out at that time. So this cardboard casing, you can see how not too fancy, uh, but put it in the cardboard casing and putting it in this hard plastic allowed them to charge $4 for this special mint set. If you look at the top of the special mint set, you see it says United States special mint set on it. And then down here in the corner, it says packaged by the U.S. Mint. Uh, these sets, you often see them broken up, and on the back you can see these also. You can actually look through this plastic, and when you do, you'll realize that these are really not very good coins inside here. They're very, very highly polished. Uh, they 
often have uh, mistakes on them. And so when you get to this penny, you can tell pretty much what quality it is, what color it is, and how valuable it is just by looking through the plastic of the Special Mint set. So when you go to buy one, somebody will already have done that. They'll have looked at this, they'll have tried to figure out the value of it. In most cases, unless you get one of these that's been in your family, it's uh, it's highly unlikely you're going to find a valuable one. Well, I'll, I'll show you the nickel on here though. This is the best nickel that you could get from 1966 in a special mint set. You can see it has scratches. You can see it has maybe one step, maybe two steps going all the way across. So when you're looking for these, the special mint set, set, set coins are not going to be highly valuable coins unless you get them at an incredibly high level of quality. All right, well, that's all we have today from Big D Coins. Please subscribe to the Big D Coin channel and leave any comments you have in the comments section.